Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I'm flying and today I'm playing River Rail. River Rail is pretty much a Mersey Rail game inside of Roblox. And today I'll be teaching you how to drive the trains because they are pretty complex and you may need some help understanding how to drive them. So let's dig into this. So first of all, when you're on the main menu, simply press staff. Then you can press train crew and this will take you to the trains depot, as you can see here. These are some controls, but I will go through these later. You can jot these down now if you want to, but I guess they're not really there, but you can use them if you want to. You can see though, there are a lot of strange features in the train, making it very realistic. These are the driver route codes. These pretty much decide which platform you go through when you drive through Birkenhead North, which can be a busy station because it's where the depot is located. So if you want to go through the platform which juts out, uh, select two, but if you want to stick in the normal platform, press 1, and if you just want to go via the depot, press 0. These codes here are a lot more important. These pretty much display your destination board, and you will have to use these later on. But let's go spawn our train. Simply walk through this door, take a left, and come up to your spawner. Over here, you can set your unit number. So now the trains which are used on Mersey Rail are class 508s, here, and 507s. So either a 508 or a 507. And after that, you can have any three-digit number of your choice. The numbers I tend to use are 507073 or 508208. So you can make up your own number, depends. But today I'll be using 507073. Click spawn, and as you see, the train is right there. The first things you want to do is set a red tail light. How to do this? Just click this yellow button on the door. That opens it up. Sit down. Then if you see this black circle slash knob thing, click that. You can see these train lights have been on. Then you want to click it until it's a tail only. That is when these red ones appear. That's correct. When you jump out, close the click the yellow thing door should close then run and do the same thing on the train at the front except press day so how to do it at the front once again press the yellow circle down there then click the black switch this is your cab then when you get in press q click the knob until it says day which as you can see that is day the lights are now on and then you get into the more complex stuff First of all, turn behind you whilst you're in cab and click this switch. This turns the lights on and also turns on the destination thing, train FX. Then you want to enter your root code and this is pretty much this thing right here. But there is no root code. How do you power up the train? There's no GUI. Well, first of all, you want to see what's in your inventory. There is T, a T key and a master key. The master key is particularly important, so equip it by pressing the free key on your keyboard, then hold X. And as you can see, I've inserted it into the reverser, and now the GUI is here. At the same time, in the bottom right, this little thing has appeared here. Uh, now this is important because this is what decides to set your root code and your signal. So I'm gonna set it as one, so then I go through platform two on the Liverpool, uh, I mean Birkenhead North station. So click set. And that is now set. So now I will go through platform two. So once again, just set your root code down here. So number two for platform one and number one for platform two. So I'm going to set it as one. There we go. Root set. And then we can move on to the controls. Now, if you look in the bottom left, there is a thing that says reverser off. Press F. That makes it good to forwards. Then you'll hear an AWS sound. Press Q to set that. As you can see, the AWS sunflower has appeared. You can control the brakes by pressing A to reduce them, and D to increase them. You can control the throttle by using W to increase it, and S to decrease it. Now you want to set your destination. So as you are leaving the depot, you're not in service. So simply press O, 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 and click send. This then changed your destination blind to say not in service, which is the correct thing for it to be showing. At this point, you are ready to go, but there are still some things you need to do. So first of all, you want to press A until your brakes are on zero, then press W. Your train should accelerate. Good. Now you want your train to slow down at a 5 miles an hour maximum speed until you reach a 15 mile an hour speed limit sign. 
Gotta say, the train model does look stunning. Looks very accurate to the real class 507s and 508 peps. So great work, great job to River Rail for making this lovely looking train. And if you plan on going to Liverpool, would definitely recommend riding this system in real life. It's actually very nice and pleasant. Just after this set of points and foot crossing here, your speed limit increases to 15. This is where you can step it up a notch. Much better. Now you will see yourself starting to approach a signal. Now often this signal can be read if you are in a server where there are other people. So this is a good reason to get a private server. They're free at time of recording. So if it is read, just come to a stop in front of it and I'll show you what to do. So I am going to put my train to a stop just in front of the signal. Very nice. At this point, you will notice that your blue sign thing says BDJ4 on the top left of it. That is the name of this signal, which if you take a really good look, it kind of says BDJ4 just there. Well, if you take a look at your starting signal down in the bottom right of your screen, just enter BDJ-4. There you go, signal set. Then release your brake by pressing A, and then you can continue on your journey all the way to New Brighton. This is where you terminate. Don't stop at any stops along the way because you are not in the service. From here, I can show you what to do. For further information, if your signal at that signal is red and hasn't changed to green, press the yellow SG button here. If it says no signal, press it again and then it will try to update the signal automatically. This usually works and when it does update, it goes to green. Except if there's a train there. But pretty much once it's at green, you have freedom to pass it. At this point, you pass Wallasey Village Station. And only around 30 seconds later, you pass Wallasey Grove Road Station. This is your last stop before New Brighton, by the way. I should point out, though, that the speed limits are only really here to help you with stopping at stations. Because the chassis is very smooth and your chances of derailing are pretty low. On the approach to the station, you get an AWS warning because there are yellow lights down here. Remember, press Q when you get this, or else your emergency brakes will be applied. Now you have reached New Brighton Station. Come to about a metre stop, maybe two metres from the buffers. Uh, then stop here, and pretty much press these two red buttons here, on your left. And this opens your left doors. Now, at this point, you should go to the other cab. Setting your lights, just click, simply click the knob switch here until it says the one you want. For me, that is tail lights, tail only, and these other two small red lights. Now, you want to take out your master key. Simply press R until the reverser goes to off. Then, put your brake all the way up to 3. Then, hold X. Jump, and you are out. Press the black lever switch. Then press the yellow button, and you are out of your cab. Then simply run along to your cab again, this time in the other direction. Press this one. Close it. Then get back into the seat. Get your mask key out. Hold X. Press F. Press Q. And now you are set to drive again. But you want to turn on your lights once more. Now, if you have a guard, which I do, they will turn on your red lights for you. But if you don't, you just have to remember to set them yourself again. Now, you will probably want to do the hardest part of this, and that is setting your destination. So for my destination, I want to set Liverpool Central, which is 0411. So I do 0411. Send. Enter start location, New Brighton start, which is 0401, 0401, send return journey, press cancel to get rid of your return journey, then set your start time, it can be what the time is now for me, it is 18.02, so I'm going to set it as 03, send, Liverpool Central, there you go. After a minute or two, you want to close the doors, simply press K. And the doors close. 
Once again, to release your brake, press A. And for throttle, W. Now you are on a roll. Make sure to follow all speed limits because that is how you get into stations. Make sure to stop at all your markers. So if there's a free car marker, stop there. And if there's an S car marker or six car marker, stop there if you've always shot the free car one. And that was how you drive in River Rail. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. And remember, you need to join the group to drive. So link in the description. Goodbye.